let's say the guys and please be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure static crowds for ipv6 ipv6 static crowding and i'll let you know that today we are doing static crowding for ipv6 right okay so without any further ado i'll open our notepad to let the steps that, that we're going to follow to achieve the object ipv6 static crowding configuration so basically our step one is always to draw the necessary topology we decorate and comment so i'm using three routers connecting site one to site b site a to site b okay and uh, i'm using 29 11 routers three of them and 29 60 access layer switches okay all right and as you can see comments uh, the network IPv6 uh, address on this side is uh, 201 db8 colon uh, 1 colon 1 double colon slash 64 and the same applies on this side also okay all right so step two step two says that we enable IPv6 global forwarding so guys basically it's very very important that you enable IPv6 global forwarding in all the routers before you can uh, begin configuring ip addresses or routing protocols okay all right so i'll just start here and do it very very fast your time just say no just say no then enable uh config t then you just say ipv6 unicast routing that's all come here also so the second step, the, second, the third step I mean, configure IPv6 addresses on the router's interface and include both link local and GUA. So basically, we are going to configure IPv6 addresses on all the router's interfaces and include link local and GUA addresses. So we are only going to configure link local on the interfaces connecting LANs. Okay, for example, the interface connecting site A should have a link local address. The interface connecting this side should have a link local address, okay? Plus GUA. But we are only going to configure GUA on the on these interface con interfaces connecting router to router, okay? All right. So let's start with router zero, which is connecting site A. So I go to this site, G uh, gig zero one. And configure this network here. Just copy. And I come to gig01 here. Uh, we can just say uh, interface uh, gig0 slash 1. The first thing we do, no shut. Turn it up. Okay. After we turn it up, we just say IPv6 address. Then link local link. We just link local is always uh, for 80 double colon any number now you can just say even uh let's start with the one okay then you specify that, that this is link local okay then now you configure global unicast address which is gua i paste it there and here now i change that to one also okay then slash 64 and that's all exit so i go to this uh this um interface which is gig00 and configure this ip address so i copy and gig00 uh here we don't configure um link local okay we just configure uh gua the one that's connecting router to router okay okay so we just say ipv6 uh first of all no shut no shut then IPv6 address, I paste what I copied, then let's make this one 1, so that this one will become double colon 2, okay? Alright, so uh, slash 64, okay, exit, and do right. So we're done configuring IPv6 address on this router. So we are going to do for this router and this router. And remember, on this router, this interface should be configured with both with uh, GUA and link local, link local, okay? But for this interface, this in interface, and this interface is only GUA. 
GUA, Global Unicast Address. So I'll do it very, very fast to save time so that we can proceed with a static routing configuration for IPv6. So let's start with this router, which is uh, this interface is Gig01. Zero, gig zero so Gig01 will take uh, to 2001 db 8 3 one double colon one double on, double colon two because this one took double colon one okay all right okay so guys basically i've completed the configuration of ip ipv6 IP, addresses on the router's interfaces such that we've configured both gua and link local addresses so i'll go back to our notepad and uh, you see the notepad says that configure ipv6 addresses on the comp on each computer and use stateless uh, address auto configuration okay all right so what we're going to do because we've configured IP ipv6 address on this interface these computers can get can out assign themselves based on the ipv6 address that has been configured here okay and the process is called slack or stateless auto configuration address auto configuration right okay so what i'm gonna do just go here to each computer ipv ip card then you can change to automatic and you can see it has auto configured itself based on this addressing addressing scheme okay because the connecting interface was configured with, with ipv6 enabled and you can see default gateway it uses as it's the the link local address of this interface right okay so i'll go to this one also all right so you can see the link local of uh, site a site b was fair 80 double colon 3 and you can see ipv6 request successful all right so when i go back to our notepad we need to test communication okay so for example we need to ping from this computer to this computer right and then from this computer even to the other computer on this side okay all right so what i'm gonna do you can see this ipv6 address is very long so to get that ipv6 just go to command prompt and say ip config okay and just copy uh just copy the ipv6 address don't copy uh, the link local just make sure you only copy this one okay okay so i've copied it i try to ping from this computer ping you see it's pinging right but what about if i try to ping from this hand it won't ping because we've not enabled uh routing protocols you can see destination most unreachable good so that's why we need to configure uh static routes for ipv6 it's just the same as the static crowd for ipv4 okay all right so what i'm gonna do for static crowd let's say this site wants to reach this site so we must tell this router that whenever it receives any packet that is belonging to this site it should forward it to this router and tell this router that whenever it finds a packet belonging to this site take it to this guy being that this guy is directly connected to this site, the packet has reached its destination. So what about coming back? We need to tell this guy that whenever it receives any packet with this destination, then forward it to the center guy. Then we need to tell the center guy that whenever you find a packet matching this destination, please forward it to this, this guy here. And finally, the packet will have reached the destination. So let's begin very, very fast to save time. So what I'm going to do, I start from left, going right, then I come back again, okay? So what I'm going to do, I just copy this network, very, very simple. I copy that network, then I come to this router here. Come to this router. Uh -huh. Then what I say is very simple. We just say IPv6, routes, route, IPv6 route, I copy the network. Whenever I want to go to this network, then forward that packet to this guy. Now we take the IP address of this interface. Which the, the interface is uh, gig01. So I just go here. Uh, where is it? Uh, huh. uh, show start. Do show start. So gig01, 
gig01 here is the pv4 address of gig01 so i just copy ipv6 address of gig01 sorry i just copy that part only okay all right so when i go here i paste that one here and you just hit enter so this routing entry tells this router that whenever it receives any packet matching this destination please forward it to this guy the, this ip address which is the the whole route okay okay so the packet is here we want to tell the packet that please go to this guy so we just uh, do the same here so what i'm gonna do uh let me just copy this entry let me just copy this entry copy uh then i come here and tell this guy that uh huh uh exit then i paste it okay so what will change is just uh, ipv6 address here but uh, the destination will still remain the same so we need to forward it to this guy so ip address of this ipv6 address of this guy which is kick 00 as ipv6 address of uh, i think i configured it here here okay this one and i copy that come back here and i paste it paste it there good and you just hit it good do right so we have gone sorry we've configured the forward uh static routing so we need the packet to get to go to go back because it has already reached the destination but now it cannot go back because this router doesn't know how to uh route the traffic matching this desti destination so let's get the packet uh to go back to the source all right so we go to this router here go to this router here and tell it that ipv6 route 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 when you receive any packet matching this destination i copy the destination now okay when you receive any packet match packets matching the destination then forward it to which ip address the next stop the ip address of this guy the ip address of that guy is uh uh just go here and check this is um gig zero zero so gig zero zero here i can see it's uh this one okay i copy and i come and paste there good do right so there we're done now the packet is here the packet is from uh, site a b and it's now on the router this router doesn't know how to uh route that packet matching this destination so we need to tell it that whenever it receives that packet please forward it to this guy so let's tell it let's tell it we just uh config t okay so um ipv6 route to which destination the destination is uh, uh 2001 db811 that's the network okay then forward it to this guy the ip address of this interface which is gig 00 so the gig 00 on this side has an ip address of uh gig 00 on that side has an ip address of uh, this one okay so i only copy that part and when you come back to this router here and uh, so we delete that and paste what we've copied okay and do right so guys basically we've configured static routing to enable site b send packet to site a to send packet to site b and also site b to reply or send packet to site a sorry so when i go back to the computers again and try to ping remember the first time i was trying to ping all the destination was unreachable now let's try it again you can see now we can be able to ping from this side to this side so let's try to ping from this side to this side so i'll take ip address of this computer just say ip config okay to get the ipv6 then we copy we copy this one copy and i come to this computer here come to command prompt and ping see it's still ping so basically guys I believe this video really has really helped you now to configure 
static routing for IPv6. So I'll mark this section as done. So 